What's up, everybody? My name is S. Sake. I am from West Palm Beach, Florida, South Florida. I love you guys, and I'm excited to do this interview. Shout out to Kelby. Shout out to Making It Mag. If you guys are new to it, definitely tap in. You tapped into the right place. So I'm happy to be here today and talk about it and talk about South by Southwest and how you guys can apply to also have the same opportunity because it's real. I'm a real person. It really happened, and it was really awesome. All right. First and foremost, every year during South by Southwest, we do this event called the Media Matters Soundstage, uh, where we have thousands of guests, over 100 media outlets and professionals that come through and check out talent, do interviews, and network uh, with the people that we bring in from all over the country. And we pick 15 people to perform on the stage. Uh, for free. But what we've been doing is interviewing artists who performed on the stage this year to let them kind of give in their own words uh, what the experience was for them. So, S.A., I want to say you were like the third artist selected uh, last year. So how was it when you found out that you got selected? It was, oh, it's hype. I mean, in my own personal circumstance, I had COVID, so I was already like pretty down. And I really wanted that because I've known about South by Southwest forever. And I just remember being so fatu infatuated with it when I was in high school. I actually even remember asking, I think I asked prior if there was going to be some kind of opportunity for this. And you were like, just wait or whatever. <clears throat> so I applied. And when it happened, it was just like, dang, all right, bet. We're about to go down to Austin, Texas and go see what this is really about. I was hyped, very hyped. Did it Crazy. live up to the hype? <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was my first time in Texas. It was really dope. Like, you know, they say everything's bigger in Texas. It's definitely a fact. The music scene is is crazy. Miami is like, is pretty lit, but not like, not like Austin. That was right. like a different street out there, different animals. How was, how was your experience with actually performing um, at the event? It was great. Uh, it was a packed event. It was no bullshit. There's a lot of people. Everybody came out there and everybody was so supportive too. Everybody was cool. Everybody kept their full attention. Uh, and it was really dope to see all the other artists. Every single artist that performed was super talented. They were all handpicked to perform. So there was no whack people up there performing. And everybody brought their A game. Like I think everybody had in their mindset, like, okay, like this is really big. You never know who's going to be in the building. We're literally in the heart of one of the biggest networking events in America. I think everybody just came with their A game and think about that like, damn, I got hand selected to go do this concert. Like anybody could have been there. Anybody could have got picked for that. But something about me was dope enough to put me in that position. So the whole thing, full circle, it was really great. And, and that's one of the big reasons why we do things that way. Like we had like a lot of labels there. We had a lot of professionals, a lot of managers, a lot of media outlets. Yep. And we don't use established artists to promote our event. People come out because they know what we do. And they know, like, the quality of the artists that we bring out is, like, that's an important thing for me, for you guys to see and understand the people who are performing around you that you're sharing the stage with. Like, yo, these people are dope, too. And these are people from, like, all over the country. And, and, and also give you guys an opportunity to network with each other. Did you make some good connections, like, while you were yeah, there, like, like, as far? Yeah, I made a lot of connections. I met a lot of people specifically from Making It Mag, different people who, you know, we come on lives together and we say what's up etc etc um but then just all coming together and like getting to meet each other i got really close you know with a few of the members it's just i don't know like people that i definitely could see being like lifelong friends who knows probably would have never happened if it wasn't for this platform and for this opportunity like the night after we performed we still went out we went out to downtown and chill just because we were still in austin i get a message in the group chat that 2.0 he was asking if anybody was still downtown and i was out with my homies we were having a blast like we were drinking we were so anyways i don't know i was just like all right fuck it i'm gonna go let's go see what's up let's go get him i was like yo i got you bro so we walk over there we meet up with him this is crazy we get in the car I, we have like this amazing conversation i really got to know him a lot better got to stay in the airbnb with jay reese so like him and i have gotten super close I actually went out to california in april hung out with him and his wife. But like, these are connections that like, it's not just about the music. It's not just what you all see on face. Like anybody, we could drop a bunch of records together. We could drop videos and all that stuff looks cool. But it's really dope to actually meet genuine people and like connect with them. Uh, same with De Lamont's, got to know him a lot better. Yoshi, Highness, all these people, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, now we're here constantly supporting each other, pushing each other's music. And we just got to hang out one day in, in Austin, Texas. And we're all from different places. <laughs> yeah, and like everybody you named is like it, like Atlanta, Cincinnati, Milwaukee, L.A. Yep. Like these are all people who have audiences and from everywhere. And so like that's the thing why when we do these events, 
will establish the group chat. With our platform, I try to be very transparent in everything that we do. We don't try to wall people off from each other because yeah. we want you guys to connect with each other. We want y'all to build and have and form those relationships to do yeah. those records, to promote together because the thing that holds most independents back is the fact that they're doing everything by themselves. Absolutely. Yep. And so w w once you once you get into this space where you realize like yo you're not my competition you're my comrade yeah yep. then then like you're able to cut a lot of costs um you're able to have that support system just like even on a mental and emotional level like it ain't got to be um just working for free and money like someone who understands and like who can like man forget that shit like keep <laughs> keep pushing that shit you know yeah. all those little simple things and so that's um a big thing for us while we do, like I said, we do the group chat and then we also do the playlist for the event. So everybody has a chance to hear each other's music and then everybody promotes the playlist ahead of time. And even we run ads on the playlist and stuff so that when you come out there and you perform, the media partners have heard your music. The um, Some of the special guests have already heard your music and the fans who register. So like even when people were RSVP for the event, they would get a return email with a link to the playlist where the music yeah. was. Yeah. And so it's like all of these simple things that we do to make sure that it's an, it's an experience that it's a positive experience. And that like, when, when you guys get up on the stage, it's, it's important for me to, for y'all to know what it feel like to be treated the right way. Yeah. Like, cause yeah. you know, you do a lot of these events and it, and it, and it don't be that it, it don't uh -huh. be like, it's just like, Let's get 30,000 people on stage. <laughs> yeah. A personal introduction, too. Like, you definitely made each and every one of us feel special and, like, gave a little background knowledge about us before we went on stage. It, you know, got to actually speak. And like you said, exactly. Like, it's like we just – a lot of places are just trying to push people in and off stage. You know, now a lot of things have become about making money off of performances. As right. to being with, with – working with you, you're trying to put – people on stage and get them money from performances or from features or you know what I'm saying whatever it may be that you can help at that time and and I don't know it's, it's I'm very fortunate to have found this platform and to be able to actually be a part of it and to be able to speak about it and be like yeah this stuff really happened and we have you know we have nothing but growth to make in it and I can't wait to see where this all falls to you know what I'm saying like I said, everything that we do is very, very much intentional. And, and a lot of times it don't make sense to the artists. Like the membership doesn't make sense to anybody. Like, and when they first hear about it. <laughs> Until you do it though. Until you yeah. do it. The subscription doesn't make sense to people. It's like, well, we had to block so many people. Pay you, so I got to pay $119 subscription for a chance to win $1,500 or $15,000. It's like, no, you don't. It's like. You don't have to. But... Yeah. It's like. <laughs> Like, I also don't have to give away this money. Like, like but this is it's something that I'm doing for the people who support, who are part of what we yeah. do. Like, the beautiful thing is you get to see how transactional people are because we're in this together. You get to see who sees this as something bigger than them. Like, yeah. the people who is like, it's just all about me, they don't see that. And so that's where the, like, the cool thing for me is getting to see the interactions that y'all make and getting to see, oh, they got a record together. Uh, oh, shit, that's like out in California right now. Uh, the homie Jay Reese rented out the whole restaurant. <laughs> yo, that's too funny, yo. That, that restaurant was so dead. There was nobody in there. I was like, yo, I'm going to make this video real quick. And that for me, that's like, those are the important things because it's tough doing it by yourself. Yeah. It, but it's hard to find people to do it with because a lot of people are so transactional and it's like people don't support you because they want to see you win. A lot of times they support you so that you support them. Yeah. And so Absolutely. in that, that support be fickle and lighthearted. Like, it, like, it don't be, it be, it be this clap. It don't be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They don't smile with their eyes. Very surface level. And so, like, when, when, we, when we do the events and it's like, yo, you get to see these people that y'all been listening to each other's music and the reviews and dropping on all these and commenting back and forth and then you come oh, and you get to see each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we 
we did, yo. It was it was very it was very lit. Everybody went hard for everybody, and yeah, it was very cool to see that and just all come together. Like I don't know, it's dope. Exactly, you're right. You don't really see this, and I can't wait to see like like the long term of this. And it's really dope to see everybody getting accomplishments. You know, as the time passes, and like we're all we all really want this, and like there's like. And it, I, don't, I don't know, not just the people who are at South by Southwest, but definitely everybody's at South by Southwest. Like, we really want this shit. You know what I mean? And it's right. like, it's really cool to see the hunger and, like, to see the consistency and the, the content and just, like, like, everybody's just going, 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 and we're not stopping. And it's just dope, you know? Like, when people, like, really blow up and then, like, you see those, like, like, the artists who, like, become friends and stuff, like, like ski mask and XXX, you know what I'm saying? Like that type of bond or like Juice World and Trippy Red, like these friendships that bond and like they were just artists that were just like kicking it, rapping about nothing and then they blow up and then you get to see the whole, like the whole storyline. And I really truly see that, see that happening with like people that I've met from Making It Mag. No, it, it, it's, it's a tremendous amount of talent. It's a tremendous amount of work ethic. And, like, yeah. and that's, a, like, the, the beautiful thing of, of like, like I said, like, for me, um, with the, the membership, when it started at the membership and even the subscription, is just, um, like, creating a shortcut to see the character of a person. And, yeah. like, and that's what I feel like that's the, that's the hardest thing about this music industry and this journey is just finding the right people to lock in. And I and I used to explain this to artists. Like, like it was like 99% of this stuff is scams. And I'm like, no, actually 1% is. Like 99% yeah. of the time you spend money on a studio session, flyers, photography, all these things you spend money on, you got exactly what it was. Yeah. And, but it's like, it is some, it's some scams out here. I ain't gonna say I, it ain't some scams. But I, you be so fixated on not getting burned and you pass all the opportunities that are good and that can help you and be productive for you. And and that comes to relationships too. And I'll use myself for an example. When I tell people what I do, don't nobody believe me. Everybody think I'm I'm on some bullshit, I'm on some scamming, da 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 da. And yeah. it's like <laughs> it's like who who the hell would do that? Why would you fly people out? That don't even make sense. How much do right. they pay you? Like <laughs> Pulling these trees. <laughs> it's like if the people who take the time to check the track record and check, like, yo, they see all the videos and they see all the and I've yeah. had plenty of people like like yeah, like bro, I thought you was on some bullshit and then I talked to this person and that person. Oh well, I got <laughs> times, bro. Once as soon as I posted it with the uh the MBE concert, I had mm -hmm. at least, I'm not even joking, at least ten people. At least ten people asked me, like, "Oh, I saw about I've known about making a mag for years, but I just didn't know if the shit was legit or not." Yeah. I, like, I get it, but like, I've come to a point, and this is for anybody, especially if you're really new to taking your craft serious, just really do some research. If it looks like some bullshit, it's probably some bullshit. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if it looks like shit, smells like shit, it's probably shit. So, like, but here's the problem with that: most of these people have shit on their glasses. Yeah. See what they're so that shit's on you. Not on us. <laughs> Back, yo. Back. You can't, you can't fix you. Oh man. But no, you know what? You've been a member for this would be like two years now? Going on two years? Yeah, yep. And so like and and you were like you were like um like after we switched everything over with the membership and like your membership you pay fifteen hundred dollars. Yep. And it's like and that's a different level of commitment. It was like, you know, back in the day, like the, the membership was like two hundred dollars a year. For the like love. Like and, Yeah, you was <laughs> listen, you had an account for like three no, years. I didn't know about it. My old <laughs> Here made the account for me. I, I don't. I had a Reverb Nation. Apparently, I had a Making It Mag account. I had a kid. I went, when I finally took my shit serious and started to apply, I'm like, why do I? Why do I already have an account? Like, and then yeah, yeah. yeah. But that. But the thing. Well, but has it like in and like in all honesty, having spent fifteen hundred dollars on becoming a member, like going through the whole process, you applied. Uh, you got approved by the review team. We did a personal interview with you. And then, like, taking the time, getting everything together. 
after becoming a member, how would you say the experience has been for you becoming a member? Would you would you do that, make that investment again? Oh, yeah. I'm going to do it next year, 100%. I already made that money back, like, when you think about it, you know, and it's like the type of stuff that I was doing at the time when I was – I actually found Making It Mag looking for open mics in Atlanta. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's how I found Making It Mag. Um, but I was paying for these slots. You know, like minimum for a show, I was paying at minimum like four hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. I was paying like eight hundred dollars for some of these shows, you know. And don't get me wrong, they're awesome. You know, you're opening for these artists. It's a great networking opportunity. People fuck with you, especially if you go and network after you perform and whatnot, and and after whatever. Um, but I was already paying mad money <laughs> to do these right. shows, and then I found out about the membership and all the opportunities and you know whether it's opening for artists or performing in front of labels performing during south by southwest you know all these different things i already made that money back <laughs> like right and I got paid for a feature too so i actually made physical money uh which wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for making it mag and we also had a consultation where kelby gave me a bunch of free game on marketing my clothes better and now I have my clothes being sold in different states. Um, I'm doing festivals now and vending and selling my clothes and took this shit up to another level and right. budgeted my stuff and started to just really look at this stuff from a different business aspect. And now I'm having more um, passive income coming from stuff that's not even my music, you know? And that was all just from an hour conversation and learning different things. and. I don't think I would have had that motivation or that same kind of push or knowledge to be able to do the stuff that I'm doing now. Um, and even if you're not a member, like the subscription is not a lot and it's a, it's an annual, annual subscription and you can still apply to all of the same opportunities as a member. You get a discounted price than if you're not a subscriber. Um, and a lot of things are free too. A lot of these opportunities that I applied for, for were free. Um, yeah. and, I'm getting to go perform on a stage where I would have paid seven hundred and fifty a thousand dollars just to go do that same performance. So, like, and I just thought about it, like because that's you got selected. So let me think. When we first started, you got selected for um, you got a paid feature. First, was that your first paid feature? Yeah, it was my first paid feature. Oh, and I've gotten more oh. since then too. <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah. Like I be telling people, like our goal is to be the first person clapping. Like that's why I just tell people that's the analogy I always use is like you see that movie and like the person gives this big impassioned speech, professes their love or whatever, and the whole auditorium or audience is just like are they performing? Everybody's just like and it's crickets, and then yeah. there's that one person who claps. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then everybody like oh yeah. <laughs> so so this is what that tells you is. Everybody can see you winning, doing something amazing and be fucking silent because they yep. don't want to be the first person. They don't want to venture off and take the risk of, of applauding you or showing love to you and being the only one to do it. Yep. And like that's that's our whole thing is to set up these things where like once you get a paid feature from us, it clicks. Yep. Oh, shit. I should be getting paid for this shit. Yep, this yep. is what my price is. <laughs> Like, once we put you on the stage, and that's why I say I, I put so much effort into making sure that y'all get treated right, so that when you go and perform, like, hold on, this ain't how this supposed to go. Like, yeah. so they, that you know, oh, yeah. like, yo, we, I want you to have standards. Oh, I've left. <laughs> There's shows that I've literally left because I'm like, I'm not doing this shit. Like, <laughs> something get extra rude or, like, the mic is not even sounding right and they got booted speakers. I'm like, I can't do this, bro. Like, I... I done leveled up, bro. I can't even, well, I'm going to do this and not post it, not tell nobody. Like, at that point, I'm just rehearsing, you know, <laughs> which is cool. But, yeah, definitely have some standards now. Absolutely. And, 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 that's, and that's the big thing, like, what, for us is, like, the opportunities that we present are amazing in and of themselves, and that's cool. But yeah. it's, like I said, like, the conversations – like when we when we do the consult, when we do the strategy session, when we do, if people took that when and when they do take that and they run with it, it leads them like, fuck everything else. You just being more productive. 
like yep. in your life and it making things make sense. It, 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 it eliminates a lot of times, a lot of anxiety people have and, and, and gets them where they can start like making this shit more manageable, setting goals, hitting goals and all of that type of stuff. And so like, that's that for me, that's something that's important. Like, so like I said, you had the feature, you got the, the pay feature. Um, you got booked as a performer on the music business empowerment conference for, what was it? 2021. Like, yeah. And yep. that was, uh, we had rock nation, Atlantic records, Everybody. Um, <laughs> like, um, universal, no universal wasn't there this year. It was Interscope, RCA. It was yeah. a bunch of people like uh, program directors from all over the country. Um, you rocked out on that. You attended the conference. Uh, you had VIP for the conference. Um, and then you also got booked for the Media Matter Soundstage. Yep. You came out and rocked that. And then um, you also got selected for the um, uh, the anniversary grant to receive $1,500. Congratulations, Ed State. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was, I was like, I was like, damn, did I get selected for something? No way. So for those of y'all who don't know, we got our, our anniversary grant that I've been telling y'all about. Um, you know, it's our 15 year anniversary, no and this year, rather than sitting up and spending a shit ton of money on uh, having a bunch of celebrities out and doing a big event, I said, I'm gonna give this back to the people who've been supporting us. And so we did the anniversary grant, and what we're doing each month, we pick one person, and they receive $1,500 and consultation to invest into their music business or career. And then at the end of the year, we're going to pick one person to give $15,000 to. So S. just got her spot on the anniversary grant. She will be receiving a consultation, media run, $1,500 cash, and qualify for an additional $15,000 of funding. What you got to say, S.A.? How you feeling right now? I, like, can't breathe right now, bro, because I had 